안녕하세요. LA의 비투쇼입니다. 이번 영상에서는 멘틀 네트워크의 공동 창시자 조디 알렉산더를 모시고 함께 이야기 나눠보도록 하겠습니다. We have Jordi Alexander of Mental Network joining us today. Hello, Jordi. Welcome to the show. Hi, excited to be here with you. All right. How are you today? Very good. All right. And most of our audience is in Korea. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, be there in a few weeks for a few uh, weeks. Korea blockchain week. Yeah. Oh, there is a blockchain week, right? You're yeah, participating there? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Cool. Representing Mental? Yeah. Wow. How exciting. Yeah, it's second year. I was there last year. My first time in Korea last year. How did you like it? It's fun. It's fun, huh? Good, good energy. Good energy. Things are moving very fast. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's talk about your project, Mental Network. Before we get started, could you introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, I'm Jordi. Uh, I've been, you know, long time traditional finance uh, investor and trader and Got into crypto maybe like five years ago mm -hmm. and I've been doing different things. You know, I, I invest, I, I have a um, do like VC investments and also I like to build things. So uh, I've been working with Mantle on building like a really good ecosystem for the last few years. Mm. I'm checking your title, Chief Alchemist. Wow. <laughs> it's kind of new to me. So what do you do? What do you mean building and transforming? Yeah, so um, I don't have a very clear title because I'm sort of doing whatever special project needs to get mm -hmm. done. So sometimes it's um, we designed um, something called METH. So mm -hmm. METH is our um, version of Ethereum. Right, right. We, liquid staking protocol, have, right? Yeah, so that's something that I've been very focused on and um, you know, when when you're called chief alchemist, you can you can move from that into something else, and it makes sense because the title is just alchemist. You just put some magic on things and then move yeah. on to the next. Oh man, it sounds so deep. <laughs> 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 All right, let's uh, talk about your uh, project TVL. I was talking about mental about three months ago, back in April, and it was about. 300 million dollars i'm checking your tvl as we speak 600 million dollars wow what did you do yeah what did you do you alchemist know, it's it's gonna keep going it's not gonna stop here i think it's just um it's the trend will continue mm. very so impressive the, yeah the ecosystem just continues to um, build up there's better apps and new mm -hmm and also we're focusing on assets a lot we can talk about all the different assets right um, right right hey i've been checking on your project mental has been integrating with like new technologies and innovative assets like usdy from ando and i see usde from athena eigenlayer what can we make out of this yeah so the thing to make out of it is that Mantle is really focused on assets and because users, like if you're, if you're a retail user, you're holding assets and mm -hmm. you're holding them on a chain. Those are right. the two kind of things that you're doing in, in crypto, just focusing on trying to have really good, you know, assets, you know, yield is nice. If you can kind of have assets that generate, um, like staking, like products, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, so USTY gives you government yield on, on dollars, like 5% right. yield it. Uh, USD gives you basis yield. So you just, uh, you know, it's kind of brought from from um, the Athena product sort of shorts futures and gets yield. Uh, METH, and soon we have the restaking CMETH, that gives you uh, Ethereum yield, right? And now we have FBTC, so there's like a Bitcoin. So no matter if you want to hold dollars or Bitcoin or ETH, um, Mantle is focused on giving you a really good version mm -hmm. that will just expand over time. Can you explain about your reward system with your native token MNT? So, I mean, the, the most simple thing, um, if you like what's being built, mm -hmm. is to invest in MNT, which is uh, the Mantle token. But um, this token, if you uh, if you stake it in, into the reward station that we have, a reward station, this is like a great place to um, 
get the rewards of the entire chain. So as uh, new products are coming up and there's new tokens, uh, people that are holding their MNT in their reward station, they're getting uh, airdrops and um, and the and the rewards from from like all the new things happening. Can we talk about your uh, liquid staking protocol? That's one of your core products, right? Yeah, one of our like real success products right. um, is Meth. Right. So Mantle uh, staked Ethereum. Mm -hmm. It is about two billion in TVL. So it's not just on the L2. It's on the L1. It's it's a it's a bigger product than just the L2. Mm -hmm. um, and Mantle generally is not just a layer two. It really is kind of an ecosystem of um, of assets and um, and it's like a financial hub as well. So when we talk about meth, it's it's really for all of Ethereum. It's not only for for the layer two. Let me ask you this. Yeah. How is your ecosystem growing? You said it's not really about L2, but ecosystem. Do yeah. you have projects onboarding? Yeah, there's a lot of projects on boarding on the layer two. And then there's also a lot of kind of partnerships like with uh, Ton, the Telegram uh, chain. Mm -hmm. There's been products that have kind of been on both Mantle and Ton, like uh, games. There's one called Catizen. Mm -hmm. um, and ultimately, like users can um, can have access to to games that are on both uh, Ton. And I think that's one of the partnerships that we've right, um, right. been building. And generally, like there's more infrastructure bridging being built so that Mantle chain is connected to everywhere very smoothly. Mm -hmm. So we can have more and more integrations. Wow. Sounds like there are so many things going on. What yeah. does the future of Mantle ecosystem look like? Maybe one year down the line and five years? Yeah. So when you talk about five years, uh, Obviously, if we look five years before, mm -hmm. we can see how much crypto has changed and, and right. all the new technology, right? Mm -hmm. This is very different. So when I look forward five years, I don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but I know that Apple <laughs> will be like going with the, the best trends and the best technology okay. as they come out. Okay. Because the, um, uh, the best thing, like maybe I'm biased, but the best thing I like about Mantle is when there's something new and uh, very good, uh -huh. they can very quickly mm -hmm. uh, integrate it and go in that direction. Okay, so let me take you back. I think five years is too long. <laughs> 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 there are too many layer twos now. It's like flooded with the L2s. Yeah. What makes Mental stand out among your competitors? Uh, yeah. In other words, what is your core competency? Yeah, so Mantle um, doesn't try to just spin up a layer two. You know, right now you can run a layer two for six thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Very cheap to uh, to just have a server and, and have it hosted, and you don't have to do oh, anything. I see. Uh, so having a layer two itself is not special. Okay. I think the thing that's special is the entire like um, BD and ecosystem that's that's built. Mm -hmm. And the thing that Mantle does differently is we're not doing um, you know, like a cheap TVL, it's very easy to get TVL and then lose it because mm. people are trying to farm one points program and then it goes away. Mm -hmm. uh, Mantle is much more long term and sustainable and has a lot more uh, power from the treasury. So none of the other L2s have a billion dollar treasury. Oh. And Mantle has this and it allows, you know, much more uh, stable support for everything that gets built. Talking about your treasury, it was quite impressive. A lot of projects, they will have, oh, we have this much money, but it will be in their native tokens. Yeah. But in your case, it was like Bitcoin and Ethereum, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Ethereum mainly and stable coins. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Now let's talk about U.S. election. I'm not sure if you saw uh, the Trump speech. He said he will fire Gary Gensler. Oh, let yeah. me ask you this: Are you in favor of Gary Gensler? I don't. I don't think anyone in crypto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let's get to the point then. Let's say with Gary Gensler gone, what does that mean to Mantle? So I think it's going to be good for the entire ecosystem, mm -hmm. and it's going to bring new 
um, institutional investors, especially in the U.S., mm-hmm. that are going to be more comfortable with the regulatory side. Mm-hmm. So for Mantle, it'll just be good in general. You know, there'll be a, a good positive. Uh, the, the water will rise for all the boats, including, uh, you know, Ethereum and Mantle as well. Do you currently have restrictions on your products in the United States? Uh, definitely, you know, there's no active promotion towards the United States. Um, okay. But with the Gary Gensler gone, you can actively expand it. Well, yeah, it depends, you know, who replaces and, and what they... Okay, what okay, they, okay. With the say. clarity, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I think the election will... Um, be very influential for crypto prices. And right now we're seeing that the polls are kind of close mm-hmm. with Kamala and Trump. Right, 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 right. And I think as we get to uh, October, the crypto moves will move with the polls because mm-hmm. if Trump is better, it'll, it'll go up. I think that's what's happening today. I was checking poly market and Kamala is actually catching up and crypto is tanking. Yeah, I think she, she had a temporary boost because no one wanted Biden. You know, Biden was clearly cooked. Right. And uh, I think she has a temporary excitement because mm-hmm. it's not Biden. It's it's not Biden. It's somebody else. <laughs> but you think it's going to fade away soon? It'll fade. It'll fade back away. <laughs> Talking about prices of crypto, uh, especially Ethereum has been stagnating these days. Uh, in other words, underperforming, disappointing. Yeah. Do you see that coming back? Like maybe thriving possibly with a mental and other L2s? I think what we saw with the Bitcoin ETF is similar mm-hmm. to what we're seeing now where you have, you know, initial price go up, mm-hmm. uh, excitement, and then this like stagnation when it launches, which is what we're seeing now. A lot of it is driven by, um, you know, people rotating from Grayscale. Mm-hmm. Because you have to think about so much money was locked in uh, GBTC for Grayscale and then for ETH, which is their Ethereum. And it's the first time that people can take money out mm-hmm. for years. It's been, it's been stuck there. So now that it's an ETF, people can take money out. And that's causing you know a couple weeks of stagnation, like you said. Mm-hmm. Um, once that runs out, I think we'll see a healthier price. Okay, let me give you a final question. There is a new investor with the ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand. How would you recommend investing the money into your ecosystem? So, if you want to have, a, I think the best is to diversify. If you, you want to have, let's say, out of that ten thousand, you want to have uh, three thousand in Ethereum because it's a very good long-term asset to hold. Mm-hmm. It's a very institutional asset. Then you can hold METH and get all the extra rewards for it. So you're you're making much more than just holding Ethereum by itself. So. Right. Um, you want to hold Bitcoin, there is FBTC, which is still giving you the Bitcoin exposure if Bitcoin goes up. Oh, you have a able... Bitcoin related products, right? I saw yeah, that. Yeah, this, this is a new one. What is it? Fire Bitcoin. What is it? Fire Bitcoin, FBTC. Fire? Fire oh, Bitcoin. Fire Bitcoin. Wow. So it's like holding Bitcoin, but you can get yields? Yeah, exactly. Wow, wow. That's impressive. Okay, so going back to the portfolio, let's say you have yeah. ten thousand dollars. How would you invest? Yeah, so three thousand, I think, in uh, METH, in mm-hmm. Ethereum, basically a better version. Three thousand mm-hmm. in uh, Bitcoin, like FBTC, which is a better version. Okay. Uh, maybe hold two thousand in uh, one of these like yield stable coins, just to have some stability. Okay. And then two thousand, you know, you can choose your. Uh, Coins like MNT or oh. you know other coins that you think are uh, good ecosystems. Okay, I'll take it as MNT. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, that's pretty good. They're very helpful. Thanks for sharing cool. all the information with me today, and I wish you the best. I'll catch you again Thanks. next time. Okay, thank you, Jordi. Bye bye now. Thank you. Bye.